So in a place such as uh, Somaliland where you have uh, populations that are dispersed in large regions, it's very important to be able to support access to healthcare, particularly for mother and, and, and child. Uh, because when, when you have uh, access to health services, then you're more likely to prevent uh, any complications, whether it's a, a child uh, sort of uh, when the mother is given birth, or whether it's general health and well-being. So we try and reach out to these communities and look at how we can go to them, look at how we can support them in their own community to develop a health service that caters for them and how that health service or, or, or that uh, service at the village level can be linked to uh, further medical care should they need that. The healthcare system of Somaliland has actually, it is not my first time, I was here three years ago and things has moved on uh, over the last three years. Initially when I came three years ago, uh, the healthcare system and the structure was not um, uh, was not uh, functional almost. When we came to uh, Somaliland, we uh, consulted with the uh, Ministry of Health and we did a, a national health needs assessment. And one of the areas that we found to be most uh, uh, sort of uh, lacking most services was, was the region of Seneg and uh, we decided to do uh, a much thorough assessment in Senac region to look at how the health services uh, are delivered and at that time there were no health services uh, which were delivered which were coordinated which were systematic so we decided to work with the local community there we decided to work with the populations in bringing about change and we started off uh, doing this with the Ergava Regional Hospital and we fundraised for the hospital uh, we also supported uh, some of the staff in terms of training and development um, and we were able to bring programs uh, such as the CMOC program. لقد قوري أما سكر حتى نودي جو حرام هي بقى هو ينوح وحنا نقول إيمي وحنا نختار أوتشو جيم تشري قيبها في المسجد واحد ناية قيبها شيء باركنا قيتها شيء باركنا كوب ملت واحد ناية وعندك هل قف مدح قليل مركا واحد يقول نقطة حتى نحذن أح بس بتعرف كان لو كياني اللي جو سو بدلي عندك شقيصة صورت قلم أح اللي جو شقيصة Kadai betul yang kiu gu badna, hal kan semua marah ini ane syifa di mana. Hakam itu dah hoyo yang hal kan allah kena. Hoyo lagi kena yang kalau tuhulo, hoyo ini yang badam faham lah. Tuhulo lagi kena hal kan mungkin allah kena ni ane oga ni ini hoyo dasi. Ane hoyo dasi dah dikarai. Oh si normal ya ane udah dikarai. Tapi ada ane nak tu hoyo di ni doktor doang tu. Doktor kini erga bayang tu. Maka ane nak tu ini hoyo di law diro and berak ane hargisa. Oh hoyo di aku kata kerja si gar gar ini itu skip hisa. محي هيدا إلا يو محي هيدا برعو كله هدا يدون طباي قار كسي دنتين وضده كذي بتوه إن كسر يا أبوه وينا أو بريجان الله كرم أي تانش بدنوي. So we have developed the Shifal Shifad model of community-based healthcare. It's about engaging with communities. It's about assessing their need. It's about planning with them what we can put in place. مد بيك قد وانت الشفاد أي قد وانت هيدا هاوري. حوية أسبتال كان نجوا حنا مية دسينا ينو يسبوا سكوف في العضو وصيدا قرار ده هوري أكسيد استراتيجي وذو حامر كي أي كبر حد ينو أسبتال كي حرمه ينان حرمه أسبتال كي إن لكوريو وقاروا هاي رو يسقي سكوف في العضو وتشري كرو وحنا وجو مهم سبب حوية شرتان كهذي إمي كسنة برنامجه العقد فرا بدن له الله قبته وهذنا سنة كدي بمرك ماشي اللي قت بعي وحول قال كودي كل مقدام أنتي ده وحول الله ما ترين، لكن وحين وح سستيني بلا وسيتشري كرو واري كرو النقطة هي آت مهمة تحسن أنا وحفق السرعة. So in November 2014, we engaged with UNFPA to look at how we can reduce maternal mortality in the region of Senag, starting off at the Ergava Hospital, 
and we were lucky enough to get some funding, some support to deliver a CMOC program. A CMOC program is about reducing maternal mortality, it's about targeting uh, mothers who are having difficulties in giving birth. ولكن <تصفيق> وأنا أقول لك أن أنا أقول لك أن أنا أقول We were able to deal, we were able to, with the support of the hospital staff, we were able to uh, conduct 4,600 normal uh, unassisted deliveries. We were able to perform uh, 440 C-sections. We were able to give support to 1,100 mothers uh, around about child uh, about child spacing. We were able to provide 13,200 antenatal uh, uh, clients. And uh, also we were able to develop a system of referring mothers uh, from the villages and the rural areas to be able to get some support when they are, when they are giving birth. So this is done through uh, a referral system where we have got an ambulance, uh, two ambulances that refer uh, mothers from the villages and remote areas into the hospital where they get medical uh, treatment and care. So in a place such as, uh, in a post-conflict country, uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, issues is to do with qualified healthcare staff. There's not enough qualified doctors, there's not enough qualified nurses, there's not enough qualified midwives. And efforts have been made uh, by partners, uh, Ministry of Health, Edna, uh, the uh, Somaliland Nursing Midwifery Association, and other nursing schools to produce good quality staff. Once those staff are in place, then there's no formal training of any sort. So what we are doing in the areas where we are working is we're working with staff to uh, improve their education and learning. We're working with them to provide uh, upscaling of training. We're working with them to look at how uh, in the clinical term uh, community that uh, the practice has been improved. So we're using best practice and we're using evidence based of what works. So we are doing a lot of training, hands-on training to staff. We're also doing a lot of retraining for staff that have been in uh, sort of uh, places such as Ergaba Hospital, who have been working but without any formal qualifications. So we'd like to get some support in getting them to go back and to be educated. So the future for Shifat, uh, we feel is bright. Uh, because it's about a movement, it's about a concept in which uh, it's about self-help and reliance on uh, the communities. So we're not relying on uh, outside help, we're not relying on emergencies, it's about what we can do to put in place a system and healthcare infrastructure that caters for our need. And what we would like is to reach out to all partners, whether it's individual partners, individual medical uh, 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 practitioners across the world 
to try and help us achieve that goal, access to better healthcare services.